Introduction The Ford Mustang is an iconic American car series that has been in continuous production since 1964, making it the longest-running Ford car nameplate to date. Not only is it currently in its sixth generation, but it is also the fifth best-selling Ford car nameplate. The project for the Mustang began in the early 1960s when Ford executives recognized the success of compact, sporty European cars and wanted to create a similar vehicle for the American market. They assigned a small team, led by executive stylist John Najjar, to develop a prototype for a new car that would be called the Ford Mustang. Najjar, who was a fan of the P-51 Mustang fighter plane, co-designed the first prototype of the Mustang, known as the Ford Mustang I, with fellow Ford stylist Philip T. Clark. The Mustang I made its debut at the United States Grand Prix in Watkins Glen, New York, where it was tested by contemporary Formula One race driver Dan Gurney. The Mustang was developed as a highly styled line of sporty coupes and convertibles derived from existing model lines, initially distinguished by long hood, short deck proportions. When it was first introduced in 1965, the Mustang became the most successful vehicle launch since the 1927 Model A, selling over 400,000 units in its first year. In fact, the one millionth Mustang was sold within two years of its launch. And in August 2018, Ford celebrated another milestone by producing the 10 millionth Mustang, which was a 2019 Wimbledon White convertible with a V8 engine, just like the first 1965 Mustang. The Mustang was designed to be sporty, like a European car, but also comfortable, like a Cadillac. John Najjar, executive stylist and co-designer of the first prototype of the Mustang, known as the Ford Mustang I. Despite its initial success, the Mustang has faced tough times throughout its production history. In the 1970s, high gas prices and stricter emission standards led to a decrease in demand for muscle cars like the Mustang. The car underwent several redesigns in an attempt to appeal to changing consumer preferences, but it struggled to regain its former popularity. However, in the mid-2000s, the Mustang experienced a resurgence in popularity, thanks in part to the release of a retro-inspired design that harkened back to the car's glory days. The success of the Mustang has not gone unnoticed, as it has inspired multiple competitors from other American manufacturers, including the Chevrolet Camaro, Pontiac Firebird, AMC Javelin, and Dodge Challenger. It has also had a global impact, influencing the design of coupes worldwide and leading to the marketing of vehicles like the Toyota Celica and Ford Capri in the United States. In addition, the Mercury Cougar was launched in 1967 as a unique-bodied, higher-trim alternative to the Mustang. During the 1970s, it was marketed as a personal luxury car and included more features. We wanted to create a car that was both sporty and comfortable, and the Mustang was the result. We knew it had the potential to be a hit, but we never could have predicted just how successful it would become. Donald N. Fry, former Ford Motor Company vice president and general manager, and one of the key figures in the development of the Mustang. Throughout its production, the Mustang has had various nameplates associated with it, including GT, Mach 1, Boss 302-429, Cobra, and Bullet. These nameplates, along with the 5.0 Fender badging, denoting 4.9 LOHV or 5.0 LDOHC V8 engines, have only added to the Mustang's appeal and performance.
If you're a car enthusiast looking for a stylish, sporty, and iconic vehicle, the Ford Mustang is the perfect choice. Its rich history, impressive performance, and wide range of nameplates make it an icon of the automotive industry. I was impressed with the Mustang's handling and performance from the moment I first got behind the wheel. It was a pleasure to drive and I could tell it had the potential to be a real success. Dan Gurney, contemporary Formula One race driver and test pilot for the Ford Mustang. Despite its long and illustrious history, the Ford Mustang remains a symbol of an era that has long since passed. While it continues to be a popular car series, with its sixth generation currently in production, it can't help but evoke a sense of nostalgia for the glory days of American muscle cars. The Mustang's sleek design, powerful engines, and iconic nameplates will always be remembered as a symbol of a bygone era, one that will always hold a special place in the hearts of car enthusiasts everywhere. As the years go by and the Mustang continues to evolve and change, it is important to remember its rich history and the role it has played in shaping the automotive industry. Despite the passage of time, the Mustang remains an enduring symbol of American ingenuity and a testament to the enduring spirit of the American car. Chapter 1 The Early Years, 1964 to 1973. The Ford Mustang is an iconic American muscle car that has captured the hearts of car enthusiasts for over 50 years. The Mustang story began in the early 1960s, a time of economic prosperity and cultural upheaval in the United States. Ford's Vice President of Design, Lee Iacocca, saw an opportunity to appeal to younger, more financially secure buyers with a new, sporty car. On April 17, 1964, the Ford Mustang was officially unveiled to the public at the New York World's Fair. The World's Fair was a large international exhibition that took place in Flushing Meadows Corona Park in Queens, New York. It was a major event that attracted millions of visitors from around the world and featured exhibitions from countries, companies, and organizations from around the globe. The Mustang was introduced at the World's Fair as a way to showcase Ford's latest and most innovative products to a global audience. The Mustang was an immediate success, with over 22,000 orders placed on the first day alone. The Mustang's success was helped by its affordable price, which made it accessible to a wide range of buyers. It was also well received by critics and the public due to its sporty design and performance. The Mustang quickly became a cultural phenomenon, appearing in movies, television shows, and advertisements. It was also a popular choice for young buyers who appreciated its affordable price and sporty performance. The Mustang's success contributed to the economic prosperity of the time, as it helped boost Ford's profits and employ more workers. I was in college when the Mustang first came out, and I just had to have one. It was the perfect car for a young, single guy like me. It was sporty, stylish, and affordable, and it had plenty of power under the hood. I loved driving my Mustang around town and taking it out on the open road. It was a great car that I'll always remember fondly. John, a retired mechanic who owned a Mustang during the early years of the model. However, the early years of the Mustang were not without their challenges. One issue that arose was the quality of the car's interior, which was criticized for being poorly built and using cheap materials. Additionally, the Mustang faced intense competition from other muscle cars such as the Chevrolet Camaro and the Pontiac Firebird, which offered similar performance at a lower price. 
Despite these challenges, the Mustang continued to be a popular choice for car buyers throughout the 1960s. It underwent several updates and evolutions, including a major redesign in 1966 and the introduction of more powerful engines in 1969. These updates helped the Mustang remain competitive in the market and continue to appeal to a wide range of buyers. Throughout the 1960s, the Mustang underwent several updates and evolutions. In 1966, the Mustang received a major redesign, which included a more pronounced grille and longer, more aggressive lines. In 1969, the Mustang received another update, which included a larger body and more powerful engines, such as the iconic Boss 429. These updates helped the Mustang remain competitive in the market and continue to appeal to a wide range of buyers. In the early 1970s, the Mustang continued to be a popular choice for car buyers, although it faced increased competition from other muscle cars such as the Chevrolet Camaro and the Pontiac Firebird. Despite this, the Mustang remained an important part of Ford's lineup, with numerous updates and special edition models being released throughout the decade. The Mustang's success also helped contribute to the economic and political stability of the time, as it was a major source of revenue and employment for Ford and the broader American economy. I bought my first Mustang in 1966, and I've been a fan ever since. It was the perfect car for cruising around town and taking out on the open road. The Mustang had a great combination of style and performance, and it was affordable too. I still have a soft spot for the classic Mustangs of the 1960s and 1970s, and I'm always on the lookout for a good deal on one of those old beauties. Mary, a retired school teacher. In conclusion, the early years of the Ford Mustang, 1964 to 1973, were marked by its development, launch, and early popularity. The Mustang became an iconic symbol of the American muscle car, and its success laid the foundation for the model's continued popularity in the decades that followed. The Mustang's success was also closely tied to the economic and political climate of the time, as it helped contribute to the prosperity and stability of the era. The Mustang's unveiling at the New York World's Fair was a major milestone in its history, as it allowed the Mustang to be introduced to a global audience and helped establish it as a cultural icon. As the 1970s dawned, the Mustang faced increasing competition from other pony cars such as the Chevrolet Camaro and the Pontiac Firebird. With the muscle car market becoming increasingly crowded, the Mustang's future was uncertain. Would it be able to hold its own against these formidable rivals, or would it be left in the dust? As the pony car wars raged on, the Mustang would need to fight harder than ever to remain at the top of its game.